What's poppin' people? It's your boy Zach Lloyd back at it again with another video. Today I'm driving in the car, probably not the safest um, situation to be making a video in. However, I've just been thinking about this um, this topic and I figured I would speak on it a little bit. So, essentially it's the idea that emotions and thoughts kind of snowball. So, a lot of people talk about how you know you really have to set your intention and stay in that position to attract the good things, but you know, not a lot of people will talk about the bad things so much. And when it comes to the law of attraction, it's a universal law that's it's not good or bad. When people talk about the universe, you're gonna hear a lot about how the universe only knows abundance and it's only gonna deliver you what you think about, and that goes for the bad things as well. So it's kind of hard to be in this position where you're thinking about good things but also the bad things creep in. So let me give you an example. A lot of the time people want to know how do you manifest an ex back? How do you bring somebody who you've had a rocky relationship with back into your life? And a lot of the time there are a lot of very negative thoughts associated with that person. So you might be sitting down and setting your intentions and really feeling what it's like to be in a good situation with that person, maybe walking on the beach, smiling, happy, laughing, blah, 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 all that good stuff, right? But then you get up from your meditation and those kind of negative thoughts creep into your mind. And you find yourself just kind of spiraling down this abyss of, you know, feelings of resentment or anger or sadness about that person and that now you're kind of sending out these mixed signals into the universe right so your primary priority really needs to be letting those emotions go first right so yes it's important to feel good and feel what it would be like to, to be positive but you need to be in this position where there's literally no doubt associated with that right so it's of primary importance to first let go of those negative emotions. And how you're gonna do that is by raising yourself to an overall better vibrational frequency. So when you're in a position of really emanating love and really emanating positivity, you're not gonna be so much thinking about those other things because those other things are only able to resonate with a lower vibrational frequency. So it's important to first let go of all the negatives if it requires letting go of that person, really focus on letting them go because at the end of the day, you know that if you love that person and you want that person in your life, you're not actually letting them go, right? You're simply letting go of the, the clinging to them, to the holding on and thinking about them every day all the time. You need to get to a place where you're able to let them go because you are not actually letting them go, you're simply allowing yourself to feel better, to vibrate at a higher frequency. Once you're able to really resonate at that higher frequency on a consistent basis, you find that you are existing at maybe a seven or an eight all the time, rather than uh, like, a, like a five or a six at best, then once you get to that point, then it's much more effective to sit down, have those meditations, and set those intentions, and really feel those things, and initiate the law of attraction, and use specific law of attraction techniques to bring specific things into your life. So I hope that helps. Um, I hope that kind of makes sense. Oh my God, I'm swerving. I hope that kind of makes sense and helps you guys kind of, um, you know, really understand what it's going to take to achieve those things that you, you might not really be able to fathom right now. And so like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.